All right, YouTube, today we're gonna turn all this steel into a hanging fire pit. So let's get going. All right, so this worked pretty well. So these are gonna be the end caps for the tubing. So I don't just have open ends. And then these are going to be uh, the hooks that I weld together um, and hang the chain on to actually hang the pit. So that's plan A. If that doesn't work, then I have a uh, plan B, but hopefully this works. Okay, so here's the actual ring that I'm going to cut and make into the fire pit. So this is a 42 inch ring. Uh, you can see here it's kind of sitting inside the base right now. Um, 
I'm using some magnetic um, tape that I got from Eastwood. So it does say right on here, steel over an eighth of an inch to use the adhesive because the magnetic qualities of the tape may start giving way at higher heats. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot here. Um, rolling this over as I was putting this on, rolling the ring or pipe over the top of it actually makes it stay in position pretty, pretty good. So hopefully with a light touch, uh, I can use it as a guide for the plasma cutter and work my way through it. All right, there we go. This stuff actually held on pretty well. Okay guys, so here's the finished product, the hanging fire pit. Uh, after a couple fires, I noticed I needed to make a couple modifications, one being this holder in the center. It uh, allows me to stack the logs in a TP form and, uh, and really helps with the burning and keeping airflow going, so a nice, hot, clean fire. Uh, the other was I um, realized that I needed some form of a poker to manipulate the logs and the coals and whatnot. So I bought this set. I uh, got a log grabber, poker, and a uh, shovel, uh, and then welded hooks on there. So uh, they'll just live with it. Um, the rest of the ring that you guys saw in the video that I made the actual pit out of is right here. I uh, put some legs on it and uh, made it into a holder. So it's gonna sit underneath the stairs right here and I'll be able to have wood uh, very close. 